the Right Honorable Mary May Simon. It was an emotional moment for these people in Kuchwa when one of their own officially became Canada's Governor General. That pride has been building up since Simon's announcement just over two weeks ago. She's a role model to all of us. A lot of pride. We're very proud of her. I think it's an amazing um, progress for the country of Canada to have an Indigenous Inuk woman in the role with, the, with all her background in politics for the last few decades. And she's been working for Inuit, Inuit rights for a long time, so I've been looking up to her. And people who know Her Excellency, Governor General Mary Simon, weren't surprised either about this new chapter in her life. Because I know this is coming uh, sooner or later, because we've been talking about her for quite a number of years. And she is the second person in command, I would say, from the Queen. So uh, we have it made as a unit. <laughs> Watt grew up with Simon and her family, and this is the home that Simon's father built, where she and her seven siblings were raised. It was in her blood, the way she wanted to lead or fix things. You know, it's, uh, it, she was very responsible, a person. Even as a, a teenager, she was very responsible. She had a very good heart. Madge Pomelo says her sister will work for not just Inuit, but for all Canadians. And she's hoping for a family reunion with the new Governor General of Canada soon, who she says likes to visit during berry picking season. Juanita Taylor, CBC News, Kujwak, Nunavik.